Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Fishing with Big D. As you can tell, it's uh, dark out. It's getting a little late. I'm trying to finalize my tackle and my gear for tomorrow's big trip. Um, I've got a trip planned out. I'm going to be doing a collaboration with Travis Hayton from Virginia Highlands Outdoors. If you don't know Travis, make sure you go check out his channel. Um, Travis is a very experienced fisherman, a very knowledgeable guy, overall good old boy, and he knows a lot about trout fishing. So the whole reason that we're getting together on this trip, I was reached out by a company called Placino. I know a bunch of you other guys have been reached out to them before and done some product reviews for them. I've done several reviews for them as well. Uh, here's what they've actually sent for tomorrow's trip. I've got this really nice trout net that they produce. It's got that nice rubber matted material. You don't have to worry about your hooks getting hung up in cloth. This is really gonna help us out for landing these big browns and rainbows that we're hoping that we'll be able to hook into when we go up there. Another great product, let me show you this one as well. Folds right up, saves you a lot of space and time, guys. They're very, very known for those kind of products. Uh, you can find these guys on Amazon.com. Just type in Placino, and I think it's P-L-U-S-I-N-N-O. That's how they spell it. Uh, they make some killer carrying cases as well. These are really high quality. I like them. They have the foam cloth in the back so you can hook your hooks into them and really manage your tackle. I like that you could clip it on your pants leg, and uh, it kind of keeps them in place for you. You don't have to worry about them. Here's what I'm going to be fishing with tomorrow, guys. Check out these inline spinners that they've got here. Really nice spinner baits. Uh, kind of mimic some rooster tails. I really like that gold minnow that they got there. Really decent looking setup they've got here. Nice quantity and packaging. Once again, it's got that soft cloth in the back that you can pin your hooks in. Cannot wait to get out there and try this. Uh, they <clears throat> sent these wonderful products out to us to try. We're going to give them a chance and see if we can catch some really nice trout. Now guys, where we're going to be fishing at, they call it Big Tumbling. It is a beautiful, beautiful mountain stream that comes out of the mountains of Southwest Virginia. I think it shares four different counties that it runs through. Um, just giving you a little background on it. It is a stock stream. They put some very nice trout in there. You got brook trout, rainbow, and brown trout. I'll let Travis tell you a little bit more when we meet up tomorrow. But we're hoping we get out there and catch some really nice ones. People's been posting some super nice catches. We've seen some eight pounders come out of there, guys. Those are some pretty serious trout. That's hope. That's what we're hoping we can catch up into when we get there. Uh, but overall, I just wanted to run through and show you those products. Some really nice stuff. And uh, shout out to Placino for sponsoring this trip for us, guys. <clears throat> we'll see you tomorrow and hopefully we'll catch on the fish. Till then, tight lines. Tight lines.
Hi guys, I just wanted to show you my setup. I've got a little trout magnet. Uh, right now the water's really skinny water. Uh, not really a lot of room to throw my spinners yet, so I'm trying another rig I've got here. I'm just taking this little sounds trout magnet. I'm going to skin hook a worm. It's this Canadian or Canadian night crawler. All I'm going to do is the skin hook him a couple times, run him up the length of that hook. But one thing I like to throw on top of that is one of these bright orange power bait eggs that I've got here. I really like these. The reason I throw it on there is not for overkill or the scent or anything, but it's for a visual presentation. This bright orange is going to stand out really well. So I'll have that bright orange on there. I, I want to save plenty of room for my hook exposure. And then I've got this worm with two little dangling ends here. Perfect little presentation to catch some trout with, guys. Let's go try it out. Guys, uh, if you ever get a chance, you, re you really have to come out here to the Big Tumbling area. It's part of the Clinch Wildlife Management Reserve. So beautiful out here, guys. Even if you come just to see the scenery, you're not going to see anything like this, most likely in the big city areas. I mean, it's really secluded up in the mountains. Very beautiful place. I just can't stress the importance of just how beautiful this place is. I mean, it's just gorgeous. Look at these rivers. Look at these giant stones that slowly been carved out by the water over thousands of years. It's just gorgeous, guys. I'm gonna fish this spot for a little bit and, and I'll try to catch back up with Travis. Hopefully we can find him. I hadn't seen him yet. Stay tuned. Real good slack water. Hey. 
They, they dumped a lot. It's got a good action on it. Oh, there's a good spot at that back corner. I floated it a little bit. Travis hooked up first. Let me get a picture. Oh, oh, oh. Can we zoom in? Nope. Nice. Got a rainbow or brown? It's a brook. It's a brook. Oh, the white fan. Yep. See the blue halos and the red dots, the pink dots? Yep. And another way you can tell is these uh, tiger kind of striations. That's when the brown, you know, when brown and the brook mix, they make a tiger trap. But that's where they get that pattern for the brook. It's pretty. I guess I'm going to keep him. You're going to keep him? Yeah, come on. <laughs> Get another one. Get another one. Let me take a picture for you. Very nice. I've seen 30 birds come up right here. No, oh, did you? Are you fishing on the bottom with like a sinker? Uh, Are you losing a lot? I'm uh, actually right now, I'm just running this thing. But yeah, uh, when I caught it on the worm, I just had two sinkers and I was just trying to just get it. Taking them out. I've seen laying. two or three that swim right there, but I can't get them biting nothing. I think they're laying so deep. Look how beautiful this water is. It looks real nice and pretty. Pretty waters, guys. Oh, got something. Let's see what we got. Was that a creek chub?
I can't tell if it's a baby brown. Look at that, guys. That is just beautiful. I believe that's a baby rainbow trout. It's got a little bit of pink. I don't know if you could see that. Wow, that is just amazing, guys. Look at that. I'm going to let him go. <laughs> this place is just beautiful. Dang, what a trout, man. Hey, that's a really nice one. Have you weighed it? Yeah, seven pounds. Seven pounds? Yeah. Wow. Let's catch you down here off the side here. I caught on down here. I caught my I thought I seen someone walking up the hill. I was like, damn, he's got a big old trout. <laughs> I think he's wilding it all. Yeah, I had to keep it See ya. Guys, uh, all I'm doing is just kind of drift fishing. I'm letting my bobber carry my current, or the current carry my bobber down. Nothing real special. Just casting upstream and just letting the water do the work. Right here by this rock, there's a little bit of a current break. And I think there's a few trout laid up and in there. So I've just been fishing this. All right. <laughs> Another beautiful trout, guys. Look at that. That is just beautiful. Let me go over here. I'm go over here where I get my hands wet. Barely hooked him right there in the top of that jaw. Try to get him loose. There we go. Let you guys see that man that is a beautiful trout really beautiful look at the colors on that guy just let him loose
A decent one, guys. Check that out, guys. This is a beautiful looking trout. That's what I really like about this Placino net, too. It's got that rubber in it. So it doesn't really hold the hook as bad. show you this has an awesome little magnet connector on there and that's metal makes for a great product I can have this clipped on my pants I can take my free hand while I'm fishing I got one I'm trying to embed it pull it right off guys makes for a perfect very nice net once again this is from Placino be sure to go check them out on Amazon 